Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Make sure to check out our sponsor, Cell Phone Buyers Recyclers. They want to buy your cell phone old, broken, or you're just trying to get rid of it. You can contact them right at the number on the screen, text or call. Also, their social media and website is in the description. Is that more convenient? If you share their social media accounts on social media, get a chance to win an iPhone. Go check them out. All right, I know people been waiting for the box. I'm going to box and run right now. Uh, three straight boxing videos. So uh, pay attention. But Deontay uh, Wilder basically was told if he lose uh, against Tyson Fury, his career is over with. By Mauricio Suleiman Jr. So I've been trying to get to this video all day, training the new, the new dog. So it's a lot of patience and getting them in uh, me and Miles' routine. So that's why it took so long. But hey, appreciate it. Check out our heavyweight boxing playlist. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, you know, if we are honest with ourselves, that's in the back of everybody's mind. That got to be in the back of Wilder's mind as well too. I think most people th believe out there, even Wilder supporters. And naysayers or anybody in between believe if he do lose the Fury again, it's over with. But does it have to be like that? No. Wilder can be resilient. He can go on to be Dillian White. But usually, when the book out is on the play on a guy, you know that if you take his right hand away or if you get to his chin, you can knock him out. But the thing is this, and I get to Mauricio towards the end of the video. Everybody not built like Tyson Fury. Everybody can't evade that right hand. It ain't too many upper body and foot movers in the heavyweight division that's as fluid as Tyson Fury. Fury may not look just sleek and sweet like Floyd Mayweather. He not, you know, he ain't really posed to. He a giant, but he slip, he's slick enough. And this is the one sleeping giant that Wilder should have let sleep. You know, he's the one guy in the division that possess, possesses the traits to beat him. The difference between him and Luis Ortiz, he Ortiz might have more punching power, but he got more height and range than Ortiz, so it make it tough for him. And also, you know, he ain't scared to let his hands go. And Tyson Fury can fight in different styles. When you can fight in different styles, you can fight on the back foot, you can fight in the pocket, and you can walk a guy down, which he showed that he could do against Deontay Wilder. You know, it ain't too many dudes that's going to beat that guy right now. So then can he put Dillian White? Can Dillian White, can he beat AJ? Can he beat those guys? Yeah. But mentally, where will he be at? Now, how many times have you seen a guy technically lose a guy three times, truly? You know what I'm saying? And come back and do well. Marquez fought against Pacquiao and got robbed four or five times. You know what I'm saying? And then he persevered the fifth time, I believe it was. You know what I'm saying? Pacquiao fought Morales three times, lost the first two, persevered the last two. You know, if it's a guy that you might want to seek advice in in a trilogy, you're probably looking at Manny Pacquiao. He fought three trilogies that I can think of. Morales, uh, Elite, and he fought more than a trilogy with Marquez. And then he fought uh, Tim Bradley three times. So when you look at a guy like that, you know, maybe Wilder should pick his brain about how you how you approach trilogies and adjustments that you need to make. Um, but I think it's in the back of everybody's mind. If he loses this fight, it's over with. That he may think about retiring and never be the same. Don't mean he can't get back on top and beat the rest. But this is going to be a long road back because he's going to have at least two or three tune-ups. You know, before he get back in position to get a championship belt, we know they don't treat black fighters the same as they treat the other. You know, Luke Campbell lost, and now he back in the title eliminator. If, if Wilder lose, will they put him back in the title eliminator? I doubt it. He on the wrong side of history. Even if Fury go out there, fight Dillian White, beat him, beat AJ, right, and the belts go out, uh, go back out, uh, excuse me, they go back out uh, and disperse, and, and they got to get it how they live. You know, you think Al Heyman going to be able to put him in position to get a vacant belt? Could. But if AJ beat Fury and he got all the belts, you think they're going to put him in position to get the belt? No, AJ can drop the belt and say, well, I was undisputed. I ain't got to fight Wilder. And people going to run with, with that public opinion, with that opinion. That's going to be public opinion. So, you know, Wilder, everything on the line. You know, Mauricio Suleiman, he ain't bullshitting here. I think if he do lose, I, I thought he should have, uh, you know, got the 50 and 0, you know, compromise, make the AJ fight, um, you know, fought him, defended undisputed one or two times. Dropped the belts, got to 50 and 0, and retired. He talking about five or six more years in the sport of boxing. Boxing ain't designed for nobody to be 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 fighting. No, it's not designed for you to be, as a professional, 10, 15 years fighting. It ain't really designed for that. 
You know, it's designed to get your bread up and get the hell out there and take some, take your fame and your fortune from boxing and do something else. But it's not designed for people to be in the sport 10, 15, 20 years. Just like the NFL is not designed to be in the sport 15, 20 years. Do you got guys that do it? Yeah. But if your body ain't designed to take that punishment at certain positions or in boxing and go on to be fruitful. So that's just my opinion as far as that. I do think his his career can be in a little bit of turbulence if he do lose this fight with Fury. This is my opinion on it. You know what I'm saying? And people don't like the truth, but that's in the back of everybody's mind. It's in the back of Wilder's mind, his girlfriend's mind, his kids' mind, his parents' mind. It's in the back of everybody's mind. Even dudes even dudes that support him to the, to the hardcore, it's in the back of their mind if he loses his fight. It's over with. It is. You know what I'm saying? The the ass whooping that he, if he take that ass whooping again that he took versus Tyson Fury, and he don't show no fight and he get dog like that again, they should advise him to retire. Just like they advise Seth Mitchell to retire, because that type that type of that type of punishment take years off your life. You know where you can't read or write after a while. So that's just my humble opinion. But Mauricio Suleiman Jr. saying it, you know, should it come out of his mouth? Absolutely not, because he's been a guy out there that's been trying to basically, you know. You know, fine water for everything he said about catching the body when other fighters and said it in the past and they ain't did nothing. He been very inconsistent with black fighters, so come it, it coming out his mouth just seemed like the the fix is in or or he ain't team water just given his history about the strip strip water and stuff of that nature. And I see people talking about oh he should uh they uh water should drop the WBC belt and a lot of fighters should if he yeah I agree. A lot of black fighters should stop recognizing the WBC belt. It's not, you know, uh, world black champion. It ain't what it stand for. Stand for we be crooks. And you see the inconsistencies. How many black franchise champions in there, are there in boxing? Only God I know had a chance to be as Earl Spence. And it was reported to me that he had turned it down. But, you know, at the end of the day, how many black champions is franchise champions? None. And the two guys, they, they made franchise champions. They made a franchise champions and people mind to evade the black challenger and Jamal Charlo against Canelo and Devin Haney against Lomachenko. But the Charlo thing proved to be more Charlo didn't want to fight Canelo. I'm just going to keep 100 on that one. But that's how I looked on the outside. So with him saying it, is it a little flaky? Or is it like he really wasn't in Wilder Corner? We know ain't no Mexican like Demarisio Suleiman Jr. in Wilder Corner. We know he not. People said, we well, protected him from Dillian White. Dillian White didn't fight as title eliminator. Don't be fooled. He was the silver champion. You had to fight two title eliminators. And he didn't want to fight against Ortiz. He didn't want to fight against Dominic Brazil. He ducked Ortiz twice. So the WBC ain't protect Wilder from Dillian White. Dillian White didn't want to fight the threats. He didn't want to fight those guys. He was just keeping it 100. And Dillian White ain't nothing to be protected from. Wilder should have easily welcomed to smash Dillian White. He letting the personal shit get in between in the business. The personal was between him and Eddie. Obviously, Eddie protecting AJ in his mind. So you fight Dillian White and fight him in London and make an example. You can fight him in Brooklyn and make an example. People going to want to do it. Deontay was just managed wrong. The WBC never had his back to begin with. They don't fuck with black champions. And I keep telling them that. And people say, oh, CJ, why you don't want to interview these, these boxers? I don't want to interview them because the majority of them is raccoons, bro, when it comes to this system shit. You can't be a militant black, a black militant person in a sport like this because it's, the money is controlled by the white man. If the white man or the man is funding you, they can easily take everything you got. They can easily stop you from getting money. Your next fight, you can go out there and knock a guy out. They can bring him back to the ring and say he won. So I get it. I understand you got to protect your family. You got to protect your financials. But, it, you know, if they don't, if they move as, as a unit, if they get all black fighters to stop recognizing the WBC, to, to they get equal so they get treated you know equal to the bull job that canelo be getting and and, and, and etc you know you know then the wbc gotta treat y'all fairly but hey it is what it is people point to donna stevenson getting preferential treatment for many many years you know and, oh they did donna's this and then it's not the third it is what it is man but for wilder with Su suleiman he probably he probably thinking well like 99.9 percent .9 of boxing fans thinking that if wilder do lose this fight it's over. You know, do you want to hear that from the president of the WBC? That's kind of, you know, not really been in water uh, corner a lot. No, but hey, it is what it is. Pressure breaks pipes or pressure builds diamonds.
which will it be for Deontay Water? Well, let's find out. But hey, if it, if, if Water fails, gotta got support the next champ, black champion that come up. So, and that's how you feel about it. But hey, I'll link that article in the description with Marisha Suleiman Jr. saying that it's over for Wilder. But, you know, I really ain't got a problem with it because everybody else thinking it. And people that come out, oh, I ain't thinking it. Wilder still, man, like I said, it's going to be some people come out here and say, oh, no, no, you ain't talking about me, CJ. Everybody thinking it, bro. The, the ass whooping he took, man, you can lie and not keep it 100. I'm just keeping 100, man. But, hey, it is what it is. Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All those links in the description. We'll make a donation to the channel. Cash out, PayPal in the description. One time for the one time. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow. We go.